Hi ladies, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today's video is very exciting because we are reviewing another Glossier launch. So something really exciting happened yesterday. <laughs> I was commuting into work actually and I was going through the Oculus and going up the escalator and I saw on my phone that Glossier released a new product. And when that happens, it basically means drop everything, what is it, immediately add to cart. And so that's what I did. I was going up the escalator. I was like, uh, I picked the colors that I wanted. And yeah, I immediately added to cart. And then I snuck out of work. Well, not snuck out, I can leave. It's not like, um, but like during my lunch break, I went up to the Glossier flagship store in New York. I did my buy online pickup in store. I got it same day. It is 6.30 a.m. the next day, or actually it's 7. Yeah, it's, it's 7.30 a.m. I am shooting this before work because I am so excited and I love to get these up as soon as possible. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, yeah. And if you guys don't already know, I am a huge Glossier fan and I also used to work for the brand at one point. So I definitely know a thing or two about Glossier. So I am very excited to be reviewing these products today. So the product, this is my packaging from Buy Online Pickup in Store, is a new eyeshadow called Skywash. We're going to talk about the look, we're gonna talk about what's inside the product, and then we're actually going to try it out on my eyes and review it. And in honor of launch day, <laughs> I am wearing a completely 100% Glossier makeup look. My skincare and all of my makeup are, are both all Glossier right now, which, oh, that just makes me so happy. <laughs> because I used to actually do a full Glossier look every day because I was working at Glossier at the time and that's what I did for work. And so it just kind of like brings me back like, oh, the Glossier products. <laughs> All right, so Sky Wash is a matte eyeshadow. And if you remember, this is in Glossier's first eyeshadow. They released Lid Star, which is more of a glistening, dewy eye look, which is more of Glossier's signature look, the more like glowy, dewy, natural, just super glowy skin. And this is a matte eyeshadow, so this is different than their typical look, but more kind of in the lines of them experimenting with new fun colors like in Glossier Play, but not as crazy colors as Color Slide because these are more like muted, I wouldn't say pastel colors, but all of the colors are inspired by Southwest landscapes. It's a liquid to powder eyeshadow and the colors have more of a diffused soft effect. So really excited to try these. And it says that it is a powder to cream-ish formula, so it goes on more of like a cream, but it finishes like a powder, and it's supposed to last up to 12 hours. It's supposed to be silky, blendable, a color that melts into the skin. So let's talk a little bit about the ingredients that are in the products. So Glossier says that these are cruelty-free, they are vegan, and they are all fragrance-free, and that is true of all of the colors, all of the shades. I need to look at my notes for this because I'm not like a, a scientist, but the notable ingredient is Novatol, which is a plant-based vitamin E blend that has antioxidants. And antioxidants are basically compounds that prevent oxidation which is a chemical reaction that can produce free radicals and free radicals can damage your skin. So we don't want those. So that's great that the eyeshadows are preventing free radicals. We know that a lot of Glossier products typically have very good ingredients. They always put stuff in there that's good for your skin as well, which just makes you want to use it even more. I know I think when I'm turning to my beauty products, I typically will reach for the ones that I know are going to have a better effect on my skin long term than the ones that are just a color with who knows what scary ingredients in it that could actually be damaging my skin long term. So, ooh, it's like a 
the actual products. So first, let's look at the actual packaging. So it is pretty sleek and simple. It is white and glossier pink colors. So nothing crazy dramatic changes from any of their other products. Let's open them up. The shades that I got are Pool, Echo, and Pebble. So Pool is more of a cornflower blue. Pebble is more of a neutral taupey color. And I kind of thought of that one as like the closest to pink. <laughs> And I also liked it because it's a more neutral color, which is closer to cool tone, and a lot of the other colors are more warm tones, whereas I actually prefer to use cool tones on my eyes or neutral tones. I just feel like that's what looks best on my skin. And then Echo, which is described as a cocoa brown, which I thought would be great for blending in the crease and just providing some depth to the eye. But the other colors that they have are Terra, which is a burnt sienna, which is clearly getting more into the warm tones. Valley, which is a warm peach. Palm, which is a golden beige. And Lawn, which is a fresh green, which in my opinion, um, is a little bit of a crazy more neon shade that I don't really think fits into the rest, but hey. But, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is Pebble. This is a taupey shade. <gasps> yes! Blue! And Echo, which is the more brown shade. Yay! Here we go. Pretty simple and sleek packaging on the outside. It says Glossier on one side, and then it says Skywash on the other side. And the colors are right on the bottom. So what I think I'm going to do, what my plan is, is to try out the blue all over one lid, and then go in with the taupe and the brown on the other lid. Let me get closer. All right, so the directions are to sweep the doe foot applicator across the eyelid and then tap and blend out for a sheer finish finishing off with a few coats of lash slicks so i don't have any mascara on right now we are just going to open it up here is the doe foot applicator pretty standard doe foot and here we go yeah i definitely can see what they mean by muted It almost reminds me of like 60s makeup or something. And when I went into the store, one of the show showroom editors gave me the advice to blend it out immediately with the finger. Which I feel like that kind of just removed it all. So I might do a second coat, but so far so good. I think that it's really pretty, especially since I have green eyes. I think that the blue is just a nice compliment. It's like a... Yeah, like a pretty lighter pastel shade. And I'm just taking that all the way up the eye so that you can see it. Wow! Blue almost reminds me of like, you know, when you were younger and like, I don't know, just like 13 going on 30 makeup or something, like someone like younger, we used to, <laughs> I mean, I didn't, I never got into that, but blue eyeshadow was for sure a thing. Yeah, but I actually like it. I don't know if putting on this like crazy baby blue would be something that I would wear on an everyday basis just because I feel like, I don't know if it's like socially accepted, but I do actually really, really like it and maybe I would be bold and try it out and wear it on a normal basis and I really hope that more girls do this as well that way I can not be alone <laughs> I give it a few seconds to dry it does definitely go on like they said like a liquid and then dries like a powder I think it is still drying but I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and put some lash slick on Wow, that is just so pretty. I love the fact that it's muted. I really like it. And it does feel... It is, like, blendable, and it just... I don't know. Something about it. I love liquid eyeshadows so much more than powder eyeshadows. I know, like, I'm just so tired of the, like, sticking a brush into a palette. It's so boring. It's so done. I don't know. 
Oh, and it just like brightens up the inner eye as well. I really, really like that. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So now we are going to do Sky Wash. This is the more taupe color, pink <laughs> in my opinion. This is like almost exactly the color of my skin. Like, almost exactly. So. I'm going to blend, soften the edges out a little bit with my finger. Yeah, I really like this. I'm going to do, same as the other one, I'm going to let that dry and then do a second coat. I feel like I'm like trying to, <laughs> trying to talk. Um... Yeah, so far it does blend very easily, and I definitely like it. I think that it lasts all day. I will check in later at the end of the night, or 12 hours from now, exactly. So this color is definitely more of a natural look. As I said, it is literally pretty much... It's funny because it doesn't look like it is, but it kind of is, at least for me, basically the exact color of my skin. So it doesn't really do as much, but it does provide like a very soft kind of like veil blurred look of a glow, which actually I do kind of really like. So now let's try Echo and I'm just going to put a little bit of that in my crease slash outer corner. Wow, that's a very dark color. I'm a little bit worried about this, but... Okay, so I think that that definitely helped and added some depth to the eye. Just the taupe on its own I don't think was enough for me. I think maybe on like a darker skin tone it would have been really beautiful, but because I am so pale, <laughs> it just like faded in. Um, but I really do like it paired with Echo, and I feel like this could be a really, really easy two-second eye look in the morning. Just swipe, swipe, blend, done. So that's something that I really like about these eyeshadows and Glossier makeup in general is how quickly you can just get your makeup done with them and on the go. And it did dry very quickly. I wouldn't say that it dried as quickly as Lidstar, the more glittery one. That one dries super quick, and then once it's dried, it's done. Basically, you cannot move it. This one, I kind of feel like... Uh, I kind of feel like I can still blend it if I really need to, but it's pretty much on there, so very, like, staying. I love the fact that... Oh my gosh, I just realized I have to leave for work in, like, 15 minutes, and I'm going to have two different color eyeshadows. <laughs> That's okay. Flash, like, on just to make them more even. So here are what the two eyeshadows look like. Yeah, I guess final thoughts, I really like them. I think that depending on the shade, it can be a more kind of like a bold look with, you know, a bright, like a abnormal color that you would normally wear, or you can have a really soft, uh, kind of more natural look, but either way, the eyeshadow is very, it's diffused, it's soft in all, in both of the shades that I got. I think pretty much all of them except for the neon green color but i really do like both of them i think that i am a huge fan <laughs> yes i am a huge glossier fan but it's not just just because it is for good reason because this brand i feel very very much takes into account all of the aspects of making beauty products and really really listens to what their customers want and it's just an all-around good company so usually all of their products are very very nice and I still get just as excited when they release new products and new launches and these ones were no different I would definitely I would definitely recommend these to a friend <clears throat> I definitely recommend them to you. Obviously, that's what I'm doing right now. You may want to try out the more warm tones. I'm sure that those are really nice as well. Staying powder, we will see. I will check back in at the end of this video. I will insert a clip. The colors themselves, they are beautiful. They're muted. They're not too crazy. Also, they're a little bit um, pastel shades, so they'll be really, really beautiful in springtime. Not that you only have to use them in springtime by any means. I These are shades that I would use all year around. And 
yeah, I just, I just all around think that they are really great products. Some days, you know, we're not always feeling a 100% glittery eye look, so it's great to have the matte options as well. Hi guys, so it's later in the day now, and although I know the lighting is different because it's no longer morning, I am happy to report that the eyeshadow stayed all day. And here it is, if you can see it. It didn't budge at all. It didn't, obviously it doesn't smudge. I'm really, really happy with it, and it's staying power. I did end up making both of my eyes blue, so when I took off the makeup from the other eye this morning, I will say that it doesn't come off easily just with water. You definitely need whatever eye makeup remover or typical makeup remover that you use. So that's just a thing, but I don't really see that as being an issue or a concern at all. So yeah. So if you want to see more Glossier review videos, more videos in this category, in the beauty category, uh, I also do like lifestyle videos, vlogs, a lot of stuff about work. Um, definitely hit that subscribe button and like and comment as well. I also have an Instagram account called The Fashion Squirrel and I post daily outfit inspiration on there and like beauty finds. I posted when like, oh Lord, Glossy, I released a new product on my Insta story. So definitely follow for daily updates there and Hopefully, I will see you guys next time. Alright, bye!